that's that's for a different discussion. Let's get back to the guys who we know can and likely will go to the draft in 2021. And for me, the headline of this class is Coin Dang. And you you brought him up. I have a hot take about him. I think if he declares Ooh. if there's a spring if there's a spring season, he's gonna get drafted above Cam Bynum. Because he has the like most okay. insane potential in the world. If you look at his build, his build alone, he's an inside linebacker who can also play outside if needed. He's six yeah. foot six, which is unheard of, not unheard of, but extremely rare as an inside linebacker. And the only knock on him was that he was too thin. But he added 25 pounds of muscle this season and is still incredibly fast. He disrupts passing lanes. He's great in coverage. And he was third in the Pac-12 in tackles, playing next to Evan Weaver, who stole everyone's tackles. Evan Weaver got every tackle, and Coin Dank still finished third. He has so much potential. I mean, this is a guy who had offers from a lot of SEC schools. Auburn was in one of them. He was Cal's highest or top recruit of the the um, 2019 class as a transfer. He was on Last Chance U. People might have seen him there. He's a guy who I think will he's I don't think he's gonna fall out of day two. I really don't. He's yeah got all the physical assets and he's a great guy. I was lucky enough to be able to feature him. Uh we had a long interview and he's he's just humble but he can dominate. And now with Weaver gone, he's gonna he's gonna be right there in the middle of this defense and I think he's gonna he's gonna wake some people up. They'll see how great he is. Absolutely. Uh, Coin Dan could be a real breakout star. And he also, a little tidbit on the side, he, he's a basketball player as well, so the guy has hands. Um, great in pass coverage. We talked about that being a knock on Evan Weaver. That's not a problem with Coin Dan. Um, he was, I believe, uh, second on Cal in pass breakups in the middle linebacker position, so he, he can really do everything. Um, another guy I think we mentioned earlier, Cam Good, had nine sacks last season. He was a very productive edge rusher. Uh, if he has a really productive senior year, I could see him climbing up draft boards and getting drafted. Um, yeah, the big the biggest thing with him is he just needs to prove he can stay healthy because he's been at Cal for a while, but he's not played that many games. So he's he's also the type of guy who just needs more film. He needs to show that he was I think third in the Pac-12 in sacks last season, but he needs to show that he could do it for more than just one season. And he's also an insane athlete. But he, he needs to prove he can stay healthy. I mean, health is like teams are not willing to draft players that like we the biggest reason for players sliding in the draft is due to injury history. And he's he's not even guaranteed to get drafted. I think that he definitely can dra- get drafted, but he, he needs to prove that he can play a whole nother season. Absolutely. Um yeah, and it, there's a lot of players, I think, uh, with this Cal program that fall in the same category. A lot of the old linemen uh, could benefit from really long, productive, healthy season. We talked about their injuries yeah. last year. Um, but there, there are really plenty of Cal players who, with the right year, and they've all got the talent and the skills, could break into this NFL draft and blow it open. Yeah, I mean, we're not scouts. It's, it's a bit harder to tell which offensive linemen are draft-worthy, which is which – versus which ones aren't, but there are some talented some talented alignment on the Cal offense to watch out for, like you said, and it's going to be a fun next couple drafts for Bears fans. 